It wasn't only my idea, so I was um, I was part of a group of people in Helsinki University who wanted to initiate this course. Uh, partly because um, quite a number of Finnish researchers have done uh, ecological and also socio-economical research in Madagascar, and uh, and we, and including myself, we we sort of wanted to extend uh, our activities here in Madagascar to uh, include some. Uh, teaching component and uh, it was natural to think about the course uh, structure where there would be both uh, our Finnish students from Helsinki and then Malagasy students from from um, the University of Antananarivo and um, so unlike with some other uh, study abroad courses our concept of the study abroad course uh, involves uh, sort of 50-50 uh, balanced uh, structure of the students uh, from uh, from Helsinki and 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 from here, and I'm really glad that uh, the course uh, has now took off, and uh, this is the second year that we we are running it, and uh, thereby we researchers we are able to give back uh, some of our knowledge to the to the local students here in in Madagascar. As we worked out of the field in tents for years and years, we began to realize that what Madagascar really needed was a research station, a modern research station, where a, a sort of a hub, a center, where you could have a database and where you could work in the forest and then come back out of the forest with your, with your information to process in the laboratory that was right next to the forest. So we began to dream about this. But of course you need lots of money to be able to build a large modern research station, especially in Madagascar. Um, so we, we began with the help of Yari Nemoa. We went to see uh, Kari Raibio, who was the chancellor and he decided that he would indeed help us. So the University of Helsinki, as well as Stony Brook University, joined together to become founders of this extraordinary research station that we have today, the Center of Albuquerque. Lots of activities and especially the interaction with the development projects, going to the villages and and interacting with some of our guides, which are actually villagers, and seeing, seeing what they feel about us doing research in their place, and do, do they feel, or are they welcoming us, are they curious about what we do, and so on. I think, I think that opens a lot of possibilities. And we come from Finland, which is here in the north. So very long trip to Madagascar. Lots of humans, and this is Madagascar. Ah, so this is so. 
Tiņas ir jau atīja lapeti, ja tiem tiem... Ā, te ir jau varēs no cīt? Did you like the games that we played in in school? Uh, yes, of course. We played it, and uh, and uh, we can we can give message through the game that it's important to not to cut in the not to cut the trees and uh, and then try to how to preserve the environment, the species. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Madagascar as a setting for a course for ecologists or conservation biologists? Um, there are several reasons. One of them is the, the importance of Madagascar and, and its biodiversity. The other is, is the threats and how fast this biodiversity is being lost and Madagascar being a hotspot and a, and a place of priority uh, internationally for many organizations. Uh, but also Rana Mafana is an important and an easy place for us from the university point of view and because we know the staff at Belvio but we know also development projects that are happening around like with Panimai too. So it gave us the opportunity to bring together not only the ecology or the biology, but also the other important part for conservation, which is realizing the social needs and what you, what you should do to really uh, have effective conservation. So look, working with the people that live close to protected areas. <laughs> Eli oli tarkoitus äh, arvioida vähän biodiversiteettiä esimerkiksi äh, eri indikaattorilajien avulla. Meillä oli lantakuoriaisia ja muita hyönteisiä, pyydystettiin sitten jyrsijöitä ja sammakkoeläimiä ja matelioita kahdella, kolmella erilaisella pyydyksillä. Ja tosiaan kolmes eri paikassa täällä Ranomafanan puistossa Berenbin fragmenteilla ja sitten Andringitressa. Ja ne oli välillä vähän vaikea saada kiinni näitä, näitä eläimiä, varsinkin isompia just jyrsijöitä ja matelioita, mutta kyllä sieltä jotain saatiin kiinni ja toivottavasti hyviä tuloksiakin. Good opportunities for me because uh, maybe next year and come back here and uh, I will am doing my favorite topic at school 
to learn malaria in Nimur and they have I've told with uh, first responsible of Albeo and she told me that uh, there is a grant for malaria next year and I could get this grant. Oh, <laughs>